Welcome to part two of the Atlas Copco Tensor SL and Power Focus tutorial series. In this video, we'll be showing you how to connect your controller to Tools Talk Power Focus using USB, create a PSET, do some rundowns, and then view your results and traces on the computer. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on your Power Focus controller. Normally, this would be on the wall, but I have it propped up so I could access the USB port, which is on the bottom of the controller. Once you have your USB port plugged into your controller, you should figure out which serial port it's running through. I'm running Windows 7 here, and the easiest way to do so is to go into the Start menu and type in Devices. Go into your Device Manager, and it should show you which one that you're on. So let's do that now. Hitting Start, I just type in the word Device, and go to Device Manager. And now that we're in the Device Manager, I'll go down to the option that says Ports, and then in parentheses it says COM, and LTP, and I see that USB serial port COM5 is the only one that's active, and that's the only USB that I have plugged into this computer right now. So let's go back into Tools Talk Power Focus now, and we'll go up top to our Options menu, go into Settings, and then where it says COM port, it will default to COM port 0. Now it should, once you click on it, only show you the options that are available. Since we only have one COM port connected, we'll go ahead and hit COM port 5. Then we hit OK. And back in our window over here, we could double click on Serial PF. And we should connect. This is a much easier way than connecting through Ethernet. However, you don't always have the option of having your laptop directly next to your controller and able to run a USB cable between the two of them. Now that it's finished connecting, we can see that we have all of our options to set PSETs, view all the jobs and such. As you can see here, we have a couple PSETs in our PSET menu, just one and two. If we wanted to, we could right click on the PSET itself to create a new one, but I'm going to edit PSET number one. I'll double click on it to open it up. Now our PSET window opens up and we have a few different control options. We're going to use a two-stage tightening strategy as well as doing torque control with just ang angle monitoring, something simple. If we go over to the torque tab now, we can set all of our values. We have our torque cycle start set to start at 2, our first target at 1.47, our final torque minimum at 3.15, and our final target at 3.5. Our final torque max is going to be set to 3.85, and our cycle completes at 0 0.12. For the angle information, we have an angle max of 300, which seems like it's a little bit high. I'll change this down to 180. Eh, let's leave it at 200. Everything else looks pretty good. We could go into our speed and ramp data. We have uh, our speed set to 50% for speed 1, 20% for speed 2, with our loosening speed at 100. That all looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and hit store. Now since we have our controller still plugged into the USB, we won't be able to do anything on the controller itself. We'll have to control it from the computer. So I'll make sure that underneath up top where it says running, we could open it up and we see the two PSETs we have saved. Let's make sure that PSET 1, the one we just edited, is selected. Go ahead and hit OK. Now I also want to see a live trace while we're doing our rundown. So I'll open up the trace monitor right here, which looks like a little graph. And that should pop open in a second. I'll go ahead and make it full screen. And then if we want to see updates live down at the bottom over here, make sure that this box that says auto update is checked and we have it displaying torque over time, which is what I'm interested in most. So let's start some rundowns. We should see our results start to pop up. So our first result came in, 3.57, almost exactly where we wanted it. And you can see our trace just popped up on screen. So now we got a not only our torque reading and our angle information from the controller, but a good idea of what the joint's doing. I'll do another rundown so you can watch it update. Now 
Now, if we wanted to save this trace for later, there's a little save icon up here on the top left. And we could save this trace, or we could save all traces. And if you click Save This Trace, we have several options for saving. And you could save it locally to your hard drive or anywhere you'd like. Say we wanted to see the results. Up here next to the trace monitor, we have a little computer screen icon. Hit the job, um, I'll hit the button on the right, scroll down to get all results, and then I'll select the P set that we're using, which is P set 1, and hit OK. Now we can see all of the results of the last few rundowns that we just performed with all the current information such as torque, angle status, angle, the date, the time, and the torque status. And if we wanted to, we could either open this in Excel or we could again save it to file. Here we have other text options, Excel options, and other such ones that we could save it to. From there, you'd be able to print your results and do whatever you'd like. So let's save this to our desktop. And here's our te text file with all the results of what we just did. I did a few rundowns beforehand. And that's how easy it is to connect to your controller via USB. Of course, you're able to see all this information on the graph unit itself if you were to go into the trace monitor. However, sometimes it's nice to have it on your computer. If you do have a compact model, of course, you wouldn't be able to see this information. So it's very helpful to have Tools Talk Power Focus installed so that you can check it out. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy the video, please subscribe for more product news and updates from Flexible Assembly.